This is a little mock-up of what the screen um, would uh, look like. And uh, here's you have a situation where I'm going to just read out the question. Uh, the drawing below shows a small portion of a new high school floor plan. In the assembly room shown, it has been determined that the room shall have an occupancy such that it will need two means of egress. Place one of the doors onto the wall location you think it should go to accommodate the code required second door exit. So here's the room. Uh, you have uh, the assembly room uh, shown right there. It's that great big uh, room. There's a corridor off to the side and uh, sort of open space off to the uh, uh, right hand side. Uh, and so the question is, uh, we have one door currently, uh, and the question says we need to have two doors. So in this situation, there's, if this is a hot spot, um, so we'll talk about it as a hot spot right for the moment, uh, then you would take your pointer and you would figure out uh, where you think that door would go, and you'd place your pointer down. Uh, and uh, you sort of click into that part of the drawing, and uh, either it's in the right area or it's not. Uh, and uh, that's it just sort of where in the drawing does it make sense to answer this question? So let's just do that real quick. So uh, first question here is, uh, I have a, a corridor on one side. I need to have a second exit. The first thing you'd probably think is, well, the door should really be along also the corridor exit. But if I put a door in this zone, um, you're going to find that that's going to be too close to the other door. If you have two exits, they need to be reasonably far away from each other. The sort of classic way of defining this, it's, uh, it's not always written into every code, but pretty much every uh, code official will, will think of it this way, is if I draw a line from one corner all the way uh, to the other corner, Let's see if it'll catch up to me here, uh, and if I draw that line and then half that distance, so half of the hypotenuse of this rectangle, uh, if I uh, can keep the doors at least that far apart from each other, then they're far enough apart from each other. Uh, and so I can't, if I'm on the corridor side, I can't do that. I can't just place a door here and be far enough away from that uh, first door, which means that the only possible places that I can do it are going to be uh, out here uh, on this outside wall. So I'm going to put my spot down right there, and you can see that it placed it in. Uh, that's a hot spot, and I've just placed it. Now, uh, I actually uh, could have, now we have the little thing here where it automatically tells us it's correct. Obviously, it won't necessarily do that on the exam. Um, I could have placed it anywhere on this outside wall because any of those spots would be far enough away to uh, answer the question uh, about uh, getting it uh, uh, a second exit with a reasonable distance from the first exit. Uh, so the hot spot can be in anywhere along that line. So this is an example in planning, but you could imagine moving a vapor barrier onto a wall section or uh, showing where flashing is or showing, you know, there's a number of different ways you could imagine doing it. In drag and drop, drag and place, you see over to the side here we've got some door, potential doors uh, and it says choose a door. So in this case it's a little bit more complicated. In this case it's not just saying uh, where would a door go, it would be saying, all right, I'm going to grab one of these doors and then place it onto the drawing. Now in that case, in this particular question, because the doors have specific swings, you would have to really think through which way the door should swing. Uh, you may notice that any time uh, I have a room that needs two exits, that means I have enough people in that room that it's considered a, a, a hazard, uh, that there's danger. If anything goes wrong, we need to get people out quickly and easily. And so if I am required to have two doors, that means those doors are going to be required to uh, go in the swing in the uh, direction of exit. Uh, so you'll notice that the door that goes out to the corridor does do that, which means that of these doors over here, if we're choosing one uh, to, to go outside, it would have to be uh, uh, either the, of the bottom two. 
um, because those bottom two ones both swing out uh, from the space that we're egressing from. Uh, so hotspot, I'm just placing onto the drawing where I think it makes the most sense. Uh, drag and drop or drag and place, uh, I'm actually grabbing one of these things and moving it to where uh, I think it should be.